la artista Min Yung Kim presenta por primera vez una exposición en la Galería en México. Tiene una práctica vinculada con la tradición coreana de trabajo con el papel y la abstracción geométrica desde una vinculación totalmente directa con los artistas coreanos como Park Sebo, que fueron mentores del artista. El trabajo de Min Jung se desarrolla ininterrumpidamente desde hace décadas, aunque ha sido los últimos años cuando ha tenido una presencia institucional e internacional muy fuerte en la Bienal de Wanju y en muchas otras plataformas, como la colección de Tate Modern. Es importante destacar que la colaboración de la galería con un artista de tal relevancia histórica y contemporánea asiática es una novedad en la programación de México. Las composiciones del artista son siempre trabajo con papel hecho a mano que muchas veces tiene en su forma fundamental. Collage, pero un collage desde otra perspectiva que no es la occidental. La práctica del quemado, del corte, del pegado, desde una perspectiva meditativa de tradiciones orientales, es lo que forma estas composiciones que interpelan pues, a toda la tradición de arte geométrico que la galería ha ido trabajando todas estas décadas. As Tony was mentioned, Mr. Park Sobo was master of the Tansekwa in Korean art movements, also internationally renowned. He told me once, and Min Jung, we all artists, we live our own generation. We can look at, but what you are doing is you cannot avoid, you are representing where you're involved in time and circumstance. What he told me, it liberated me. What you don't think about too much, don't look at too much. Whatever you do, you write on that period, that generation. When I saw the paper, This is perfectly done already by master. And from mulberry tree, they took it out inside and they put it in the water for many days to clean out and with the cold water. So when you can make up this paper with a human size, you know, they do this. And it's like, it comes 150, 200 centimeters. But when I see this paper, I feel like, a How can I be such a violent to something already has been done by nature? So I said, okay, I'm here to express something, what I express. And then just you start to doing, but I never planned it. When I do artwork, except some work I need, uh, starting some basic drawing. Then after everything is by casual things, but it's always to discipline my own breath. I'm using the fire and then Basically, you have a, this paper is almost transparent, very thin, and then you use the power, most destructible nature power, and I put it together. Is I'm in the, just the middle of a human-made paper, and then the fire. So I'm not doing something special. I just keep in my breath in calm way. When I use the candle, the more you calmer, the more you lost to yourself. The line is so clean. The funny thinking of the, what I'm doing art is I make a whole world more dirty. And then these days, all the art world, the whole everything, we are thinking about the saving the world, whatever, but too much. Because I was in the Antarctic Day this year, and then they told me Antarctic Day seven million years ago was a tropical tree area. Can you believe it? So that means, The nature doesn't care about what it happened. I think we are too became a sensible or sensitive of so many arguments. We limited our own freedom to think about. We have to be masterizing what you are doing. Once you know what is doing, what is paper, what is in only my case. Once you know what is all that, then you could start to express. But you don't need to express because you are already a piece of art. Whatever do you do is already done. So that is the way of to be free. And the more I'm free, the more I'm in line with the big nature. 